In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Keyword Atlas software on your Macintosh computer. I'm using an iMac and it's running the latest version of macOS Catalina version 10.15. And this should work all the way up to previous versions of 10.8 and over. So if you've got something less than 10.8, it probably won't work. So make sure you have a uh, latest version. This is a 64-bit version of this software, so it will work on the latest Catalina. So let's go ahead and do that. After you get to the download page here on Keyword Atlas, just scroll down and you want to select the Macintosh version. So go ahead and click the big green button there and it will download. And I'm using Chrome, Google Chrome on my Mac. So it downloaded it here and it usually just puts it into the downloads folder. So I'm just going to click that little button there and show in Finder so I can see where it is in Finder to extract the contents of the zip file on Mac is very simple. All you gotta do is just left click, left double click, so just double click it and it will open up here and it is a disk image file so we have to, in, in order to install it you have to first double click the disk image file and it will open up this disk image window and so what we need to do here is we have to drag this icon left click and drag it over to this icon here. Now it's really important not to just go ahead and double click this icon inside of this disk image window because it will not work that way. You have to first transfer it from this disk image into your computer. So if you try to run it from the disk image, it will not work. So you have to left click, hold down your mouse button and just drag it over to the uh, to the applications folder. <laughs> you can see I got a little distracted because I already have it installed in there, but that's okay. I just replaced it. Now it's in my applications folder. And so let's go ahead and open it for the first time. Uh, before we actually do that, I just want to close this out and you'll see the little hard drive you want to eject it on your desktop. Just right click and select eject so it's ejected. So let's go ahead and go to applications and we will open up Keyword Atlas, there it is. Now the first time you open it up, you're gonna see this little warning. Now you don't have to worry about anything wrong with my software. I personally develop all my own software and I make sure there's no viruses or nothing like that. So you don't have to worry about it. The software will never hurt your computer in any way at all. So what we wanna do is just cancel this out right now and we gotta go into our preferences. And so you got to hit the little apple on top left-hand corner of your um, computer. See if I can get the window over there. So up here in the corner, hit the apple and go to System Preferences. And then here you want to go to uh, where is it? Now? Privacy, Security, and Privacy. And you go to General, and you'll see here that Keyword Atlas was blocked, but we can go Open anyways. <clears throat> and you get this other message here, and just say Open. And the first time you open it up on your Mac computer, it will be presented with a thing to put in your email that you use to purchase or however you acquired the software. And after enter your email address there, you'll get this message saying it's okay and it's been registered on your computer. And now you should be good to go to use the software on your Mac computer. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.